This demonstration is intended to illustrate how to solve a common problem that occurs when transitioning templates in an area of the roadway that's also super elevated. And to illustrate that example here, we have a template that is transitioning between 1428.58 and 1452.58. We can see that what's happening along here is our shoulder is going from a five foot down to a two foot uh, width there. So as we step back up station, we will see it growing back out to a, a five foot in width. If we double click on our transition to look at it, we'll see the same thing there. Um, we'll see our shoulder segment there is going from a five foot to a two foot and we'll say OK on that. We can move our slider bar across the bottom and see that our transition is, is handled correctly. What happens then is when we apply super elevation, and I've already run the super elevation, so I'll turn on those controls. When the super elevation is applied and we step through our stations, we can see that now, now that our roadway is super elevated, but our point down here, the left edge of shoulder point, is still following the lines that were mapped out here in our transition. And we remember that those lines were applied uh, before the super occurs. So we don't want that to happen. What we want is we want this shoulder to be up here at a 2% below our edge of pavement. So what we have to do is go through one more step of adding a super control line to that point. To do that, we're going to switch over to display super elevation. And we'll see our super elevation on our two edges of pavement there. We're going to turn those off now. We're going to right click here in the super elevation diagram and create a single control line. The name for our control line, I'm just going to name it the same as our point that we're controlling, left edge of shoulder. We're going to copy from none. Our parent section, we can just key in a new name here or we can select the section that contains our other two control lines and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to, this is going to stay at a minus 2% uh, relative to that uh, edge of pavement point in there. So we're just going to keep that elevation. If we wanted, if we wanted it to be a 2% up above that other point, we'll change this to a positive 2%. Uh, or if we're going to want to do some other, uh, add some other points in there, we'll just create a control line at this slope and then add the points in later. So we'll say, okay, our control line is created there. So the next step we have to do is just go to point controls and tell point left edge of shoulder to be controlled vertically by this super control pick it out of the list here and we want it to rotate about the left edge of pavement and the stations we want to do this was just during that transition so we're going to enter in the 1428.58 and our stop is going to be the 1452.58 so that point's going to rotate about the edge of pavement at that minus 2% just during that station range. As soon as we hit add on that and close, we'll see instantly in our diagram here as we step through these stations that it is going to follow that 2% as well as we can see the segment widening based on our transition. So let's get out of the super elevation display list and see this work now from the beginning. As we step into our transition, what I want to see is it maintain that 2% slope, and I also want to see it widen from the 5 foot down to the 2 foot. So here we're in our transition, we're down to a width of 4.38, and we're maintaining that 2% slope. And as we step through, we see that we've successfully controlled that point now.